Hey everyone, welcome back to the Sunny Side. I'm Sunny, and this video right here, this is Gemini, Gemini's Tarot reading for the month of July, 2018. Good job, Sunny. <laughs> Thanks, Blair. <laughs> for those who don't know, I'm a professional astrologer. I do write the horoscopes for some of the newspapers up here in Canada, but this is a Tarot reading, of course. Uh, in addition to all of that, uh, this channel is called The Sunny Side. For those who don't know, please subscribe to The Sunny Side if you haven't done so yet. It's a video. You can fast forward the blah, blah. Just then you guys know what's going on. Uh, again, I'm a professional astrologer. If you want a reading, it's all in the description box below. And what else is going on? Tons of live streams on the channel. And uh, I shoot these videos live. Or I shoot these videos live. So if I get distracted, it's because the sunny siders are, uh, you know, <laughs> they're making... The saying's, you know, we're talking to the sunny siders. Oh, no way. So, one of our sunny siders, D. Domino Geronimo. D. Domino Geronimo. Giving him a shout out on the Gemini video. What's up, Domino? Woo! He says he's been watching the channel for years without commenting. Yeah. When you drop by, and oh, so all Geminis, if you guys drop by one of the live streams, you know, just drop by and say, what's up? <laughs> you know, say hello. Gemini's don't have a problem saying hello. Okay. <laughs> all right. Let's get down to it. Also, we have full moon spells and uh, new moon spells. Lots of fun stuff here on the channel. But once again, please subscribe. And uh, if you drop by, please say hello. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, and once again, I'm a professional astrologer. So <laughs> we don't just read tarot cards here. I'm going to cross-reference it with different stuff. There is a formal astrology video, a formal horoscope, Gem Gemini horoscope video that's coming up. But in the meantime... Uh, this is just a quick and dry because we reference the cross-reference everything here. Okay, so Gemini, this is you over here. This is the full moon. The July is the energy for July is actually going to begin at the end of June, and it's going to happen around the 28th on a full moon. Wherever a full moon is in your chart, that's what's going to be highlighted. That's going to be on full display. Usually, the sun, the sun is the light. The sun shines a light on what you're doing. So, and it's what you're looking at. It's what everybody else is looking at. And for Ge Gemini, for July, the spotlight, so to speak, is going to be fully on your finances. You're going to be looking at your money, and everybody's going to be looking at your money for July. You're going to be like, hey, how much is that? So keep your wallet closed tight or your purse closed tight because people are looking at your, you know, you're, they're looking at you and they're thinking Benjamins. Why are you thinking Benjamins, Sonny? Why aren't you thinking like, so, so, <laughs> okay, <whatever. laughs> Anyways, Gemini, everybody's looking at your money, but. I see these angles here, these lines. The sun is here. And okay, so I'll do the sun and the moon thing. So the sun is where you are. You know, it's where you're shining a light. You're going to be looking at your money. But the moon is where you want to be. So sometimes you're like here. You're like, hey, I'm doing this. I'm doing this. But I want to be over there. I want to. That's what I want to do. And, you know, and Ma Mars is like, sometimes you're like, I do this. I do this. I do this. But all I get back is this. That's the difference between Mars and Venus. Mars is where you're putting all your energy. It's where you're fighting. It's where you're putting your daily grind. And Venus is, is not your daily grind. That's a different part of your chart. But Mars is the energy for that. And Venus is about what you attract. So, you know, what you put out is not what you get back. Where you're shining your light is not always where you want to be. But in the full moon, where you want to be or what you're doing behind the scenes, what you want is fully illuminated. Right? It's, oh, you look using the big astrology words now, Sonny. It's just a tarot. You gotta use the big. But that's right. I'm pulling out the big newspaper writing words. <laughs> All right. So here we go. So anyway, so wherever it is, in, it's gonna f shine a light in your astro chart. And for Gemini's, this is your financial aspect axis right here. So the spotlight for the month is on your finances. But at the beginning of July, end of June, everyone's gonna find out about your um, the money that you share with other people. They're going to find out about legal battles. Gemini, if you've been in a legal battle, everybody's going to find out about that. They're going to find out about custody. This is all about the next... This is your peeps that you hang out with every day. And this is your relationship to the next level. Gemini, if you have any sexual kind of anything, that's going to be on full display. Who you're having sex with is going to be on display. Who you have intimate relationships is on display. This part of the chart's about making babies this part of the charts about giving birth it's also the part of uncovering secrets so you got to be careful gemini there's some interesting stuff that's going to happen to you uh at the beginning of july end of june anyways 
there's some struggle or some strife that's happening at a distance you really want to travel you really want to do something at a distance and you're trying hard to make it happen but it's going to be you know it's it's tough so you definitely got to watch that as mars in retrograde comes back this way your energy is gonna is going to revisit your relationship your intimate relationships so so keep your eyes open so that's, that's what's going on in addition to that you know quick and dirty late this is just a quick there's a real astrology video later on for you guys if you want it it's on the channel um so jupiter is going to go direct finally in your astral sector of day-to-day -day life so finally big things are going to happen to gemini during the day there's a slingshot effect that's going to happen and if you have your feet running in june if you keep moving your feet in june in july really good things are going to happen to to gemini's really really good things about their day-to-day -day life and their health it also means gemini's you're going to gain weight so you got to watch out gemini's and scorpio is going to gain weight in addition to all of that good stuff is finally going to happen to gemini's at home towards the middle of july finally <laughs> anyways that's the quick and dirty astro for gemini's in july let's get back to the tarot reading here because that's really why we're here today okay next do 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 so let's look at the cards so that's what's going on gemini you know just there's strife that's happening at a distance you know legal battles whatever <laughs> second half of the month you know the first half of the month is all transportation computers and communications you have a you know silver tongue you'd be good in sales right now but you know second half of the month something good is going to happen at home and you can really you gemini's could really use that all right next so whenever we read the cards whenever we read the cards we usually cross-reference on these videos we use cross-reference it with the astrology please subscribe to the channel we uh, also might cross-reference it with an ascended master or some kind of angel card or some kind of thing this month we're using our fortune sticks because i like fortune sticks are fun <laughs> Here we go. Oh, Geminis, you will make a hasty promise that you regret but must keep. Oh, uh, that sucks. That's very Gemini, though, I must say, not to say anything bad about anybody. But Gemini, you will make a ha you will make a hasty promise that you regret but must keep. That sucks. Once again, Gemini, you will make a hasty promise that you regret but must keep. It's Gemini. What do you want? <laughs> Gemini does that all the time. <laughs> okay. Me too. I'm a Gemini rising. Gabe's a Gemini rising. Lots of Gemini's Gemini energy on the chart. My mom's a Gemini. Okay, first up, temperance. So, first, temper to temper something means to soften it. And this card alludes to uh, the alchemic process. <laughs> and or traditionally, we have an uh, an angel or a woman who's mixing two jugs of some kind of liquid, and it alludes to uh, watering down wine or softening something. To temper something is to soften it. We temper steel. You know, we temper, we soften, we soften our words. We temper our words. We temper our stance on things. We soften our stance. We're less belligerent. We're less bounding, bouncing against the boundaries, and it's more of a middle path kind of kind of way to do it. Now, it alludes to, this is Sagittarius, which is very expansive. It alludes to being expansive. And this is the Hebrew glyph for tent peg. And it means very close to home. And so, it's all about, but that's not what the story is about. In the story, the, in the story, it's all about, uh, when Tarot meets this angel in the story, uh, she's mixing the two pieces. Like, it's a chemical mixture. It's two things coming together to make something new. So it's kind of like getting married and becoming a new person. In certain parts of the tarot, there are parts of the stories that are like the lover's card are two people coming together and walking a journey together, but it's not creating something new. Some, you know, it's, um, it's not. Whereas temperance is creating something new and 
It's something that's new and beautiful and wonderful that you can relate to the world. You are not. You lose your identity in the situation, and suddenly you're part of a greater good. So something is going to happen, Temperance uh, Gemini. If you want something, you have to mix the pieces together to make it happen. So you have to you have to mix the pieces. You have everything at your disposal to make everything happen. All you got to do is mix the pieces, and it's going to work. Next, the world. This is karma energy. All right, this is karma. This is the absolute end of the story, and it means it's time to go home. Careful, Mars is retrograde. You're going to be revisiting things. At the end of the month, Mercury is going to go retrograde. People from your past, Gemini, are going to be coming back. They're going to be important. You know, problems from the past are going to be coming back. This is Saturn energy. It's karma. It means good things to good people, bad things to bad people. That's what it means. Some cards mean good things to bad people. Some mean bad things to good people. This means good to good, bad to bad. <laughs> I'm sure you could figure that one out. But it also means returning back to the beginning. So It means your story's done. And once again, those planets are retrograde, but Jupiter is moving forward. So it's returning back to the beginning. However, you're, you have changed. Don't expect the world to change just because you return home from some cuckoo bananas Gemini journey. The world is going to stay the same. But it's time for you to get on with the getting on and you to bring your energy back and share it with everyone around you. But if you are expecting good news because you've been patient and you've been good and you kept the faith, then you're going to be you're going to have some some solid vibe happening towards July. I'd keep my eyes open. July should be really good for Gemini's. Finally, the lovers. This card means two into one. You see, this is Gemini energy. So Gemini is good month. This is Gemini energy, which is all about bringing things together. People think that's not Gemini energy. This is Gemini energy, collecting information. Gemini is gathering information, but that means knife. That's the glyph for knife. That means it's a mechanical mixture. You can separate them. So although two becomes one. You know, you will remain your retain your identity in the situation. It does mean, Gemini, that you, there's a potential that. It means Gemini, you have a choice you have to make, and because of the nature of the tarot, any choice you make is going to be the right choice. So you don't really have to worry about it, but you do have a decision to make. It means someone is going to come along to change your mind, and together you're going to move forward. Someone's going to change your mind. And one of the ways people change your mind is like this. You're like, hey, man, I think I'm going to go be single for a while and everything is going to be cool. And then you meet someone, they're like, you're like, whoa, what do you want to do? I'm like, I don't know. Like, hey, how are you doing? They're like, I don't know. How are you doing? What's up, player? What's your scene? And you know, all love all the time. What's your action, you know? And suddenly, you know, everything is cool. And then you like go like this. Uh, and then suddenly your eyebrows look good. And you're like, wow, how did that happen? That's how it happened. You guys got that? Does that make sense to anybody? If you're a Gemini, that's going to make good sense to you. So that's what's going on. Keep your eyes open for life changer. Someone's going to come to change the game. And that's the action for Gemini. Your game needs to be changed. We'll do it again. So, temperance is in the house. This means soften your stance, Gemini. Just be cool with everything and everything can be cool with you. Karma's on the way, so watch out. You know, it's time to return home and be cool with the scene. Be cool with the scene because karma's coming. And finally, do, 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 someone's going to come along to help you make a decision about something. And that's the action, Gemini. Please subscribe to the channel. You know, it's the sunny side. I'm sunny. We have, uh, you know, once again, we have live astrology readings here every morning. And we have, uh, I read your troll cards every night. And all of these videos are shot live on the channel now and they're a lot of fun. And that's the action. If you have any questions, you know, if you're interested in personal reading, just check out the um, just check out the description box. And that's the action. <laughs> From the sunnyside.net, I'm Sunny. Wishing all Gemini's the absolute best of a super beautiful month. And I'll see you guys soon.